what they need in New Zealand. How good was that Neil Wagner return catch? It was it was a good catch, yeah. Um, considering it's in his follow through on in his non preferred hand, um, but it's one of those ones as well that probably looks a bit better on television than it is. It, it, it would have gone back quite slowly, you know, a low full toss hit the bottom of the bat. But um, yeah, he seems he's like their heartbeat for what, from what I can see. They the New Zealand team they go to him when they need something special. You know, he did a good job early today pitching the ball up, but the way we saw him get Smith out is the way that he gets most of his Test match wickets, and it took him a long time to go to that sort of strategy today but um, no, he looks and I heard Brendan McCollum say it on air he, he looks like a captain's dream and just in terms of return catches uh, what are some of the better ones that you've seen in your playing days that's a good question I, I commentated probably the best one I've seen Joffre Archer took one at the, at the Gabba I reckon in a big bash game oh, oh! I reckon it was going as, probably as hard as any ball I've ever seen. He caught it pretty easily. I remember Dwayne Bravo taking one, Warney maybe, at the at Adelaide Oval. He's got him! Oh, he's got him anyway! 2,000 and a magnificent catch. Warren goes in the 87th over. Two LBWs appeal and then a magnificent catch. Chris Jordan's taken some amazing ones as well. Not when I've played against him, but I've seen a lot of his highlights from different T20 comps around the world. He's taken some brilliant return catches. Andy Bickle took a good one, I reckon. Might have been Adelaide Oval as well one year. Good low, sharp return catch. Catch, well taken. He's been very good off his own bowling uh, throughout his career, Andrew Bickle. And that was a sharp chance.